Today we're going to adjust spoons, another favorite vertical regulation activity. So first of all, you need to know what, in order to adjust the spoons, what makes it challenging is it's completely in the blind. This is the tool that I like to use to adjust spoons. With the action out of the piano, I first figure out exactly where this end of the tool is on the spoon and where this end is on the whipping. So I'm going to put the tool in and right now I have a piece of tape which I put there when I knew, and I don't know if you can come around now to the back side, when the tool is on the spoon. So that really helps so that you know when the tape is here, you're going to be at the spoon. So that you know when you're in the blind, if you're here, you're not gonna connect with the spoon. If you're here, you're not gonna connect with the spoon. That your tool has to be right there in order to connect with the spoon. So after, with the action out, mark your tool, your tool. I'm now going to put the action into the piano. on the action so I want the spoon to pick up the dampers when the hammers are halfway to the string so I have this board which 23 millimeters is pretty much half of my blow distance. I'm going to wedge that with this wedge so you can see the dimensions on it. I'm gonna wedge this half blow distance. Oh, and on this wedge I also have a little divot cut so that that little divot is gonna go onto the hammer shank and I'm just it's just a pressure fit between the rest rail. And it does not matter which hammers you put this on. Um, just so that you have it wedged. And now halfway to the, halfway hammers, halfway to the, the strings is indicated. Then when When I raise the whippin, the damper should just barely wiggle. And on this one, you can see a fair amount of wiggling. So that means that the spoon is hitting the tail of the damper too soon. So I'm gonna wanna get this tool on the spoon and bend it back to me. So first thing you need to know which side of the whippin to be on. And you'll know that because the whippin, excuse me, the hammer flange which is right here, and the damper flange are offset from each other. So on this one, the spoon is going to be on this side because the damper flange is on that side. So I'm gonna go in here. When, and if you raise the um, whipping up and down too, it can help you find the spoon. My, this one, I have to get right next to it. There, there we go. So my tape is right here lined up so I know I can be on the spoon. And now I'm going to just, oh, I slipped off. It's good to see me struggling a little, isn't it? The end ones are actually a little harder than the, in the center of the section. There it is. So now I'm going to, and this is where the artistry comes in to know how much I'm supporting the whip and with my thumb and forefinger and I'm just judiciously bending that spoon towards me. Now I'm going to re, yeah, perfect. Can you see how right now there's just barely a wiggle to that? 
so now that damper is picking up precisely at the halfway point. Now let's take a look at this one. Can you see how much movement of the damper? So I'm going to go in again. And like I said, this one is actually easier. Um, don't ask me why. Um, now I've got it. I'm going to bend it to me just a little bit. And check. I could do a little more. Now, if this was, I'm just learning spoon bending, I'd say I've made it better, I'm good. But because I've done it enough, I can go for, you know, two or three times of bending. And say that's that's perfect. Um, in the middle section, still 23 millimeters. My board is a little bit shorter because my middle section is a little bit shorter. And the middle section is a little more awkward for me because the dampers are now on the left side. So you have to come in on this side. Let's see how much, yeah, quite a bit of lift there. Can you see when the board, when the hammer hits the board, how much damper movement there is? So I'm going to come in on the left side. There I am. So I have to kind of cross over, but I've got the spoon. I'm going to, I'm bending it towards me. And I check. Perfect. All right. And oh, put, put something on top of your, the keys have to be out in order to do this. So you have enough um, movement for your tool and then put something on top of the pins so that you don't end up with a bunch of um, puncture marks in your arm. All right, good luck getting your spoons adjusted perfectly.